Let me zoom out here. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Turkey. Last episode, that Republican Spain joined us. United Kingdom said that for some reason I'm on the brink of victory to declare war on Sweden. <sighs> and we're really close to defeating Japan. I like what they're doing where they're just not helping me invade and they're just standing there. While my men bravely sacrifice their lives. So I've on my own done quite a few um, games as Iran because I like doing it. And every time Turkey, even without heavy fortification, stops me in the mountains no matter what, no matter how many mountaineers I have. So I am not too afraid of defending here. Oh yeah, you can already see the kill counter starting to go up. And the death stack goes. Well, at least I got a fair bit of resources from taking this stuff. Need more oil. Romania. You're a saint. Oh, and some of my nuclear reactors are getting close to f be finished. Yes! Oh yeah, it's, it's over! Alright, alright. Italy. I want that. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And, oh, that's too much. Oh, that's enough. And my turn. I have to go again. I guess everything's done. Oh my god!
Why are you at war with? I'll be completely honest. I don't know. What in the name of hell? Well, now it's time to basically pull back my entire military force that was out here. In what way does the axis still exist? No, oh my god. Nationalist Spain. <laughs> Starting already. Well, that was our peace treaty. I mean, I think we did pretty good. We did get a fair bit of um land. Actually, guys, I'm gonna save real quick, and let's continue. Um. Oh, they did their peace treaty. Uh oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, that's that's not really Czechoslovakia. That really is just Slovakia. Oh my God! Because Germany is at war with the Soviet Union. Oh no! Oh no! It might kick off again. Well, that might actually be good for me because then I'll have allies in this fight. Um, I hate to tell you this, but Berlin fell a while ago. What the hell? Peace treaty's done goofed. Thanks. Generate world tension. So you know I said we had a chance. Are you kidding me? They made me spit out I'm so mad right now. That is messed up. That really is. That should not be happening. That is just not fair. Now what? Oh. Oh, it's just the actual separating into West and East Germany.
That is so messed up. That I had the spit out countries and I won. I was the one who invaded Japan for Christ's sake. Sure, go ahead, Japan. I don't care. Slobs don't really seem like they want to push out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, thank God. Oops. Hit my pop filter. There is only a very, very little border now that borders between us and Germany. Not Germany, um, that the Soviet Union could get through. So that means we might still be. Wait. Czechoslovakia and Slovakia exist. They're both communist. You're a little bit late there on the draw, America. So the United States declared war on Germany, I mean on Japan, which has brought them at war with Nationalist Spain. Is that Siam? Yeah. Nijang. And Republican Italy. Wait, who can I invite to my faction? Romania? Fuck, do it. If we're gonna go down, we go down in style, baby. Oh my god, that could be. This could actually be a game changer. So World War II still isn't done, except now the Sons of Abraham includes Romania and China. Um, well, I mean, the Taiping Rebellion was a thing, right? That guy thought he was the son of... Not the son, my bad. The younger brother of Jesus, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure the Germans pushed through stuff that's weirder than that. Romania, please get yourself together. And China, thank God you are here. Like, I'm not even joking. China may change this. This war around 100%. The fact that they are here is beautiful. Oh, no. Well, that means they're going to have to go. Oh, thank God I have access to the Suez still. The Soviets have lost nearly a million men. And we have lost not even 300,000. No, keep your army up there. Go ahead and join the front line. You're going to be needed. All right, you guys. 
I need to change my conscription law. All adults serve. I really don't know why they would do that. And why is Kanzburg the capital of Poland and not Warsaw? This is just getting weird. Guys, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think we'll be able to defeat the Soviet Union. Well, we might. Because I'm pretty sure China has a lot more manpower than the Soviet Union does. You know what? These guys might be the key. I think we might be able to, to invade Korea. Why China is not pushing up into those positions where they clearly have the ability to just push in is beyond me. Looks like these brave Turkish troops aren't going to be making it out alive. Soviets are a bit afraid to, looks like, advance there now. can't tell if that's a low def US flag or the Liberian flag. Oh, did they get sunk? I guess I probably would have been better off just sending them down here. Mountain infantry. Some rocket engines. Only about half oh, more months until they're done. I'm actually a bit surprised none of my nuclear facilities are done now. Can I not? Maybe they're. Are any of them built? Oh no, there's two of them built. I guess I just don't collect any material until they're done. I guess that makes sense. The Soviets just not trying to push forward now. We have these stray Romanians up here that are doing stuff.
the world's gone the shit, guys. There's no other way to put it. I also really like how Japan's just Kanto. Because me and China just divvied up all of Japan's existence. That makes me upset. Aw, are they still running into the meat grinder? Well, they can keep running. But now they're starting to run into the Yugoslavian meat grinder. Well, that's a bit redundant, don't you think? Eh, the Romanians aren't doomed that much better. Oh, the Romanians are trying to attack. Oh! Reinforcements. Yay! It's gonna be a hefty order, but I need you guys to defend this whole border. Battle cruiser, he's seasoned. How'd he get seasoned? Was he just shooting convoys? Here's the only thing I'm really, really scared about. Well, two. One, that my allies fail in defending themselves. I have a hard time believing the Soviets will ever break through this. And they seem like they're having a hard time breaking through this, and they almost completely surround us. This, I'm actually not scared about, because I don't think the Soviets are going to break through anytime soon. What I am afraid of is if they get the bomb first. If they get the bomb first... That is going to cause so many trouble. So much trouble. We might not be able to recover. So I'm actually going to turn down some of my artillery production. Because I need to start making some bombers. The planes aren't going to... Bombs don't launch themselves. Probably I think my target might just be Sevastopol. All you planes that are here, go to Ankara. There you go, and you're just standing by, and that's what I want you to do. However, I still want more fighters put out into the front line. You're needed far too much to be allowed to sit there. And you guys are going to be the bombing regiment. You guys will help secure them as they... You guys are part of the Ukraine region. And then we'll nuke Sevastopol. We're doing a fairly good job at protecting Yugoslavia's border. Why do I have this again? Y 
Yeah, I don't think these guys are in any state to try and invade the Soviet Union. It would, I would like it, and it would be nice. Yeah, the, the meat grinder starting to get turned up to 11. Look at this corridor that's going on here. And imagine China's having a big part of it, too. Oh, I don't think my men made it across. Nope. Do it again. You are going to do this every single time until you guys make it across. You guys, I'm done this episode for right now, and I'll see you all later. Peace!